case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1995, the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit heard the case of United States v. Strother, which centered on the use of internal bank memoranda as admissible evidence in court. The case involved Richard T. Strother, an attorney and businessman who had written a check for $82,500 from an account at Connecticut Bank and Trust, despite insufficient funds to cover the amount. Struther was charged with fraud for inducing an employee of the bank to authorize payment and falsely representing that he would provide funds to cover the check. Struther argued that the district court wrongly excluded two internal bank memoranda that he claimed should have been admitted as either business records or prior inconsistent statements of the government's chief witness. However, the appeals court found that the district court had erred in excluding these memoranda, leading to an unfair trial. As a result, the appeals court reversed the district court's judgment and ordered a new trial. The appeals court also emphasized the importance of jury instructions in ensuring a fair trial and approved the language used by the district court in this regard. However, it also suggested that the district court may want to clarify the charge to ensure that false exculpatory statements are not considered unequivocally probative of guilt. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.